Hi, welcome to Quilt Addicts Anonymous. I am Stephanie Brennan. If you've been following along with us, we are doing a new series on skirts, making, making garments from uh, quilting fabric. We started off with the simple pull-on skirt, and now we're upping our game a little bit to a, a flat front A-line skirt. In the last video, I showed you how to print and, and cut out the pattern. Um, now we're going to actually do cut it out of the fabric. There's a couple symbols on here to you, that you'll want to pay attention to as well as instructions. And these will be written out on the pattern as well. Uh, you can get that pattern at shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com. The first symbol I want to point out is this one right here. Now it says right here to cut on the fold. So we're going to do just that. We're going to put that right on the fold on your fabric and cut it out. So you're going to have a mirror image of it when we, when we unfold it. And we're going to cut one on the fold of the fabric and then we're also going to interface this piece so it has a little bit more structure a little bit more body so this is our skirt front we have that same arrow here on the side so we're going to cut this on the fold as well we're going to cut one of these on for the fabric and then one for the lining and the same with the skirt waist the back waistband we're going to cut one piece of the waistband on the fold and then we're gonna cut one piece of fabric for the skirt back on the fold and then one on your lining as well. So let's get started. Now in this part of the process, it's really important to keep in mind grain line. For this part of the pattern, that's, that's kind of built in because since we're cutting it on the fold, the fold runs parallel to the selvage. So it's going to be on grain, we know that. The reason that we wanna do that just briefly is because the grain refers to how the fabric is woven. So you have your, your, your fibers going down this way, then you have your fibers coming across this way. And you want, these, you want these to be perpendicular to the ground and these to be parallel. If they're off like this, the fabric is not gonna lay right. It's gonna, it's gonna kind of fall to the side. It's not gonna do what you want it to do. So really make sure that you're watching that grain line. Now, when you're placing the fabric, my preferred way to do this, just because I've always done it this way, is to use straight pins. I like to do this just because, especially when I'm in a smaller area like this, I don't have time, I don't have the space to spread everything out. I can kind of move the fabric around and I don't have to worry about the pattern shifting. If you have a bigger space or if you just feel more comfortable, you can just use pattern weights and you can use anything. There are pattern weights out there. Um, anything that has some weight to it you can use. Like this has some weight to it. You can use your phone, you can use, I mean, you can use anything. You can use your coffee mug. Just make sure that you're not gonna leave a ring on there because nobody wants that. Just use whatever method you feel most comfortable with and just put it in place. I like to start with the corners. Make sure those corners are nice and secured. And also really make sure that your fabric is smooth. At this point, your fabric should be pre-washed and it should be pressed as well. So it's nice and smooth. Anything that you are going to wash on a regular basis, you want to go ahead and pre-wash because as we all know, there is a little bit of shrinkage. You don't wanna have it fit you really well and then you put it in the washer and it shrinks and it doesn't fit you so well anymore. We've all been there, nobody likes that. Now once you get a couple pins along the perimeter of your pattern piece, I usually go ahead and throw a couple in the middle just for good measure. Now with this fabric, you can see that it is directional, but it's really, it's only one way directional, meaning that the front of the skirt, we're gonna be pointing this way. We can mirror the back of the skirt so that it's still on the fold and it's gonna be fine because the direction only runs along the length of the fabric rather, not the width. I don't think that I pointed this out in the last video, um, but you can really see it here. Each of the different sizes are color coded. They're also different textured lines. So if you don't want to print in color or if you don't have a color printer, you can pick out the size that you need and just look for the, the textured line. Your four is a green dash. You have your six, which is the red. Looks, it looks kind of like Morse code. You have your, your long line, then a short down, line, long line, short line, and then we have a solid line. There's a couple different ways you can figure out which one you need. Are ready to start cutting so this is actually a big reason why I like to pre-cut my pattern pieces out you don't have to do that sometimes I, I see a lot of folks just kind of cut the general shape out and then cut it out on the lines once it's pinned on the fabric but with this paper I like to cut it out 
where I want it to where I want to cut it and then I will cut it with the good fabric scissors here. Now you can use a rotary cutter and a mat at this point if you want to, if you feel more comfortable with that, especially here where we have a straight line, you know, like along the hem of the skirt, along the waistbands. I mean, these are just rectangles. So if you wanted to do that, absolutely go for it. Just make sure you have your cutting mat. I'm gonna use my scissors. This is a good reason why I like to pin it in place because I find that I move the fabric around a lot as I cut it. Okay, so we have all of our pattern pieces cut out, but there is one more thing that we need to do before we're finished with this step. This skirt has a dart in it. Actually, it has two darts in it along the front. Now the dart are these arrows right here. And what these are, are these a shaping tool so that the fabric can fit over your body. And what this is gonna do is these are actually, you don't wanna cut along these lines. These are actually sewing lines. So I'm, you can use a tracing tool of your preference and trace along that line so we know where to stitch. We're gonna try a couple different ones because this is a pretty dark fabric and we really wanna be able to make sure to see it. So what I'm doing here is I'm marking the very tip of the, of the dart with the pin. I'm actually gonna move it down just a tiny skosh so I can get my pencil in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a mark on the inside of the skirt, both the left and the right side here. And I'm gonna put a mark here and a mark here and then I'm gonna trace that straight line. You might need to unpin a little bit along the top here so you can get inside. But this is another reason why I like to pin the pattern pieces in place so that I can make sure to trace these markings really accurately. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting the ruler on the edge of the dart. So I can open it up and put my mark there. Make sure you can see it on both the left and the right side. All right, I'm actually gonna pin these because just because the fabric in this spot is really light and I want to make sure that we can see it so that we know where we're tracing to. And now we're going to find our pin and mark the tip of the dart. Now I'm using a chalk pencil for this. You can use a, you can, this would be a great spot to use a friction gel pen. If you have a light enough fabric, you can use, you can use a pencil. Um, a friction gel pen is great because we're going to press the dart to the side when we're when we sew it so that's that dart is going to go away you're not going to see it it's a great use for it now remember your dart is not going to point straight up and down it actually is going to point a little bit towards your hip so don't worry if it if it's not straight up and down that's a good thing i'm actually going to go over this again with the friction pen because with the chalk it's really hard for, for it's really hard to see so especially in these lighter areas of the fabric it's going to be a lot easier to see where we're going to sew that looks a lot better to me i can see that much better got our dart here down to the point and then we're coming back up and i'm going to do the same thing on the other side all right so that is a wrap we have the outside of our fabric all cut out and marked make sure you look at the instructions and make sure you're cutting out your lining where you need to you're going to mark your dart on the lining exactly the same way as we did on the on the outside piece um, the, since it is on the inside, the tool that you use to mark with isn't quite as important. Just really make sure you can see it because that's what we're going to shape it with. So if you haven't already, make sure you go to shop.quiltaddictsanonymous.com and download your pattern so you can follow along. In our next video, we are going to prep the waistband by adding the interfacing and, and adding the elastic and getting ready to put the skirt together. Thank you so much. Happy quilting and happy garment sewing.